How's it going, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls? Welcome back to another episode of Monster Wrangling. My name is Paul Brace, and this is another fantastic day on the ice, guys. We're back with Jeff Wozniak. We're gonna be staying overnight in his shack on the ice, but it is very, very cold today, guys. And the style of fishing we are gonna be doing is we are gonna be chasing the walleye. So basically it's more of a run and gun style of fishing. We're gonna be bouncing around from spot to spot. We know guys who have been catching um, big fish out here, but it seems like it hasn't been super consistent. So um, like I said, chasing after walleyes with Jeff, but we are gonna get set up here guys. Um, already drilled some holes and I'll see you guys on chest camera. Let's go. I want to catch a big walleye today. No more. You know, Getting out here early, which it is 9.45 right now, but we have been fishing for a while. But getting out here early and being able to stay the night, which we are, is very, very beneficial. Because you can fish the prime times, as Clayton Chick likes to say. Um, you know, the best parts of the day for fishing is in the morning and the, the night. So when you can catch those, um, those windows, basically, you are looking pretty good. So because that's when those fish are feeding the most, but. Well guys, we are at spot number two right now. Jeff is fishing over there and he caught a supper. It was about a 16 inch walleye, so we, that will go good on the frying pan tonight. We haven't caught a big fish yet, but that's okay. It is high noon right now. The bite is gonna be slow this time of day, but uh, we are gonna grind it all day long for you guys and see if we can get into a big fat walleye guys i know this lake has potential so it's just a matter of time and i think i'm gonna go fish over by jeff here pretty soon because he caught the one fish but uh yeah like i said we're gonna keep moving around here and i think we will get into a big one let's go guys jeff's hooked up again over here I'm not sure how big the fish is it's probably another eater maybe maybe i should go over there all right over here it's not a monster, but it's a nice one. Yeah, okay, I'll be honest. Good one. Yeah, he's about five pounds. Yeah, maybe not quite too nice. That's a good fish. Nice. Yeah, yeah hot fish. That's awesome. Well, I think I'm moving over here. Yeah, I think you better. <laughs> fish. Yeah, it's a little. A little too big to be eaten, so we'll put them back. Okay, here, I'll get the rods on this guy. Ready to go. Gonzo. There she goes. Awesome. Paul was busy moving over, and I grabbed another one. They're, they're biting good. They're, they're down there pretty heavy right now, so I'm going to get this one back and try to get a bigger one. Good job. Nice. Jeff, is it bigger or not? Could keep them to eat, but we already we have two. We got enough to eat, right? Yeah. We'll let them go. Nice job. Little fella, we'll let them go though, because we got two to eat already. We don't need any more than that, right? Nope. Two's good for us for supper. Way he goes. Awesome. Here is my first fish of the day. Hey, we could eat this guy, but we already have two eaters. But see you later, buddy. He kind of came out of nowhere, eh? Yeah. On off the bottom there. All right guys, here is my second fish of the day. Not a big one, but there he goes back. Caught a lot of good eater size ones today, but we don't want to keep too much just cause uh, we really don't need that much. We're staying out on the ice tonight, so. All right guys, we just had supper actually. We're just kind of getting ready to go to bed here. We had a great day out. Today we fished kind of from dark to dark basically. We uh, caught a lot of fish actually. Jeff caught a lot more than I did, but we caught a couple good eaters and we fried them up and had supper. 
But yeah, we're gonna be going for more for some big, big fat walleyes tomorrow. But like I said, got some good eaters today. And actually we're staying out in the shack right now, Jeff's shack, um, camping out actually on the ice. We were gonna set up some jaw jackers for bourbon overnight, but I think we're gonna get a good sleep tonight and then head out in the morning to the tent we actually set up over at the spot we were fishing today. But yeah, looking forward to getting up in the morning. We will be up early. It's fairly hot in here right now, but I think it'll cool off as the fire dies out. So yeah, looking forward to tomorrow to tomorrow guys i'll see you guys in the morning and hopefully we can get a big one tomorrow so let's go okay guys welcome back it is day two here on the ice i didn't do much filming after i talked to you guys last in the shack we kind of went to bed uh got up this morning it was pretty dark but yeah uh we're back on the ice here we set the tent up last night like i mentioned before so we're in the tent now um it's gonna be a bit windier today so we're gonna probably Still do some hole hopping. If it gets really cold, we can always come in here and warm up. But yeah, looking forward to hopefully catching a big walleye today. I'd be happy with a bunch too. Uh, just good to be back out here. And yeah, looking forward to dropping a hook in the water. But yeah, I am gonna get set up here, get all my hooks tied on, get my chest camera on, and I'll see you guys in a second. Let's go. All right guys, here's my first fish of the day. Probably an 18, 19 incher. I'm gonna put him right back. A lot windier today here guys than it was uh yesterday but the fish are feeding right now come on Dog. not very big there he goes okay guys here he is second fish Going back. They're just crushing it today, guys. Oh, I just got hit. Got one. Not very big, I don't think. Oh, no. All right, quick release. That wasn't a bad fish, actually. Dang. Everything's so cold, I couldn't get my mitt off in time. Okay, getting down, getting down. I'll be more loud here in a second, guys. There's a lot of people fishing here right now, so kind of keep it a bit quiet, but reel up a little bit, put my gloves back on. I'm digging it pretty aggressive here, guys, just because these fish are coming in so hot. It's pretty cool when you get on these aggressive bites like this in the mornings and the nights. This is why uh, it's so important to fish the prime times here, but I'm gonna put this guy back down. Try to get another one. He's coming. He's gonna slam it. Got him. Better fish, guys. I think. I'm not sure how big. Ooh, that's a better head shake. Oh, lost him at the hole. Shoot, I wanted to show you guys that, but he came off there, but it was probably another four pounder. I guess my uh, landing skills need to be improved. Got him. Not a bad fish, I don't think. Not great either. Probably about the same as my last one. Oh, there he goes. It's not a bad fish, guys. There he is, guys. My fourth fish of the day here. Probably about a five pounder, but we're gonna get this guy back here pretty quick just cause uh, don't wanna freeze your eyes. But it's nine o'clock right now, guys. The sun just came up. It's prime time right now. The average size this, size this morning has been absolutely crazy. I'm at five fish now. Gets it, four fish. We caught nine fish in the last 20 minutes. Seems like every drop. Okay, 
Jeff's hooked up here, guys, on a big fish, you think? I'm trying to cover up the wind noise here, guys. This is a big fish, I think. You think so? Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stay back here to get the full. I'm just gonna let him bite these four hard. Guys, we've been struggling a little bit today since the morning bite, and we finally have a good fish on here. Is it? Oh, that's a big fish. Oh my good. Oh, that's a freaking giant. That's probably the most one. That's a big, big fish, guys. Look at that thing. I'll take some screenshots of the video here. Let's get him back. Yeah, his eyes are going to be so here. Yes. Awesome. Good that fish, was buddy. For me. Freaking right. Awesome. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. We had a lot of fun, and I'm so freaking happy that we caught that toad wall at the end, guys. That thing was an absolute stump, though. That thing wasn't very long, but it was so freaking fat, guys. Absolutely built. It was unbelievable, guys. But we had a lot of fun out there. We caught a lot of fish. Um, I lost a lot of fish, not intentionally. Well, kind of intentionally, but I didn't want to lose the fish. I was just being a baby. I didn't get my hand wet, so... It was my fault that I didn't get a couple of those fish in, but um, if they were big, I would have definitely scooped them out of the hole. So yeah, like I said, great time out there. I always, always like spending time with Jeff. He's a great guy, knows a lot about walleye fishing. He got a lot of more fish than I did this trip. Um, I didn't include all his fish, um, but he caught an absolute pile of them, guys. So uh, a lot of respect for him. I'll link his Instagram in the description below so you guys can go see all the big fish he catches. He's an absolute walleye killer, guys. So. Yeah, uh, great guy, but um, yeah, uh, we will definitely be back doing some camping, uh, maybe in this, maybe even in the tent, more in the shack. I'll do a bit more in depth of actually like inside the shack next time. I didn't really go uh, do uh, too much video of actually in the shack, like our whole setup and everything, but um, that's something I'll do next time. We didn't really spend a lot of time in the shack, so next time maybe I will go and kind of vlog a little bit more in the shack guys but uh yeah we had a great time out there absolutely phenomenal that we ended off on that big fish guys yeah absolutely great great couple days so uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel if you want to subscribe you don't have to but i really really appreciate it guys so uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys on the next fishing adventure take care guys